Hello, my name is Muir Gray, I'm a doctor and I'm director of the Optimal Ageing Programme at Oxford. And our mission is to help people live longer, better. To compress the period at the end of life when we're miserably dependent on other people for everyday tasks like getting the toilet on time. And we know this can be done because the normal, biological and untreatable ageing process is not a cause of major problems until the late 90s. The problems are due to loss of fitness, disease, often complicated by accelerated loss of fitness, and negative thinking and pessimistic attitudes. So let's think of fitness or resilience. And it happens in most people from the early 20s on. Maybe not 50 years ago, people like me Age 76, many people have had a hard, tough working life. But nowadays, 22 people get a, their first job, a sitting job, a desk job, a car, a computer screen, and it's downhill all the way with a widening fitness gap. Now, what we see if we compare men and women is that although some men have had very active jobs, that's got less and less common. And women are more active at home. And women with active jobs also are active at home as well. And what strikes me when I look at Move It or Lose It is that about 90% of the people are women. Now, there are more older women than older men because life expectancy is a little bit longer, but not that difference. So, what do we need to say to men about the need to move it or lose it? Well, firstly, we can say to them that there really is no such thing as the male menopause. The amount of testosterone goes down a little bit every year. But there's no sudden change as there is in women. And then people talk about a disease called sarcopenia, which sort of means thin muscles. And that's an equivalent of osteoporosis, which just means thin bones. But these are not really diseases. These are the results of sitting, of doing insufficient work with the muscles. And I've spent, I'm 76, so the last 50 years I've been in a car or a committee meeting or sitting at a desk. So, men of the world, it's vitally important that you become even more active to increase stamina, strength, suppleness and skill. Women of the world, I think you have an important part to play in getting the men of the world to become more active. So I fully back move it or lose it. I'm just a bit concerned by the gender imbalance and it's not the fault of move it or lose it. So we're starting a campaign to dramatically increase the number of men attending exercise classes. And there are many at the moment, sometimes linked to football clubs. But we need to recognise that most of the problems that we see are not due to ageing. They're due to loss of fitness and fitness loss complicating disease. Because when a disease comes on, maybe other people tell you to take it easy. The fact of life is that every year that passes, you need to become more active. Every disease that you get, and I've got three or four, you need to become more active. So, women of the world, we need your help. Men of the world, we need you to join the activity revolution. Move it or lose it.